response to our channel and then if you are a new user for do what do us a favor by what by hitting the subscription button to subscribe and that you are now without you and without you we have nothing we cannot actually do it alone we cannot actually achieve the goals alone we cannot actually move forward alone without your support your continuous support actually goes a long way if you are a new year or returning viewers do it to what do it to hit the subscription button if you haven't subscribed then if you already subscribed do it to what recommend the channel to one of your friends to one of your people one of your relatives to what to also make use of it so they can what we can go together we can go together in our respective businesses thank you all right now for this particular video here today i will be watching will be what we'll be taking ourselves on a step-by-step -step process on how to go about creating of a vtu website from scratch using msog script msog script all right now we have in our hosting we have in our hosting and domain connected already then we log into our what our c panel here is our c panel then we go straight to our file manager go straight to our file manager login Since my network is somehow poor at this moment, all right, we have in our file manager here. We already have, we will be having all the files available under the file manager. So, mind you, we are to locate the particular domain we want to upload, we want to use for the service, which is for this site. So, I'm using the goals.com.ng I didn't mean is a single hosting and a single domain that I want to be using. There is no need of locating the domain, just upload the file, whatever file you want to upload, just upload it under public ATM, public HTML. But for here, we will be using the particular domain because it's a single hosting connected with whereby we have multiple domain connected to it, so that's why we need to locate. The exact domain we want to what we want to make use. So the goods.com.ng is the domain we'll be using here. Then what well, if you have any other file there available? Just what make sure you delete. Just delete it, then you move it to trash. Yeah. Then you know what you click on upload to so upload the file you want to what you want to make use, which is whereby we're uploading the script. Just click on select file. Try to locate the particular script you want to use. Alright, we have the MSOX script, the zip file. The zip file, as you can see, already uploading from 1% to 100%. We already have 7%. So, loading. Just have to wait. In the uploading is complete. Still loading. Now we have 50 something percent out of 100. Just have to wait till the uploading completes before we can move further. Just make sure you watch, you patiently watch the video. And then if you seem not to get it again, get it any longer, just patiently probably you can create time again and to rewatch, 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 rewatch. Then if you are new to the users, to the channel please do it what hit the subscription button it doesn't bite yeah it doesn't bite just what just do it hit the subscription button with that with that will what will be even be moved and eager to what to make more 
videos and then give us a like and a comment give us a like and comment comment as well if you want any request then you can for you to get the script you can what int the you can check the description button below to get our, to have our contact to contact us for the scripts. All right, now we're already done with the uploading 100%. Uh, then the status change to greens. Then we want you click on go back. Having you click on go back, you have to that, that that's where we'll be having our file manager. Then as you can see, we have this file uploaded. Then you click on the file, you highlight, you click on it. We have download, we have view, we have move, we have copy, we have rename change permission delete we have extract and we have compress so if you are that's for mobile view that if you are using your probably you are using a system laptop or desktop or whatever you'll be having this same this same font for you to just for you to have this particular option you have to place your arrow on top of the file place your arrows on the file and then you right click right click once you right click on your mouse then you have this particular option then you click on what you click on extract so when you click on extract to extract the file you click on extract then where do you want to extract the file mind you we are using the dot com dot ng domain so we'll be extracting the file here dot com dot ng yeah is it now we have the file being extracted so as you can see now we have to what we are done with the extraction of the file then we have to move to the next step which is the next step is we going back to our file manager our cpanel then create the database under the database option we have to click on my sql database click my sql database my sql database then you had a new users so let me add a new users the goals let me use o o one yeah so that's the new user behind then i have to what i have to copy the new users which i had which is the name i had it then i click on go back having do that then we have to watch just scroll down you see my sql users then having you see my sql users you can you see add new users so we're adding the new users just same process that particular name that you type the other time just input it which is the goods dot oh oh one that i just typed oh oh one yeah so then you create your password you have to make sure that you are having you are creating a strong password so you can make use of password generator password generator password generator will automatically generate the password for us then you what you try as much as possible to copy the password you click on copy then you click on i have copy then you click on use password so you clicking on the use password it you what it will automatic fill the space provided I'm sorry use password as you can see then you click on make sure you already copy the password you are using make sure you copy this and then the username as well the the username make sure you copy it as well so click on create users Um, probably you can save if you wish so i have to copy and copy it in a safe place where is my notes all right let me just just the password and this is the username then go back to my browser then i watch click on go back I've already done with the database, so I've already done with the connect. So I have to connect, add the new users to the database. Mind you, we first create the database, then we create the users. So now we need to what? We need to connect the two together. 
which is you can as you can see add users to database so click on the users which you actually want to add which is the go uh, the goods dot one the database as well the whole one then we had it having clicking on add then you have it's request for permission which permission do you want to grant so you click on you approve all the permission give all the permission that's that's all then we'll go back then we are already done with this particular area then we have to go back to home we're going back to our home we have to still go back to that database set that database option again so we now have php my admin so just click on php my admin now we have the the background that the, we have the back end of the database then we need to upload our this in our sql file then the particular database we are using we need, just need to click on it first so you have to click on it which is the last one which happens to be the last one which is the 0010 then you was you define import this year here we have we have the import here just click on the import towards to import the database just choose file again you choose file option then we locate a sql file the sql file mind you when getting this script you will have the sql file that will follow so here is it sql video file done with your yeah done with the uploading then you can click on just proceed and click on import having we click on the import we allow it to load loading 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 yeah you just have to wait you just have to wait Okay, good. All right. I think there's an error truck error. Then we have to what? We have to re upload again. Import. Then choose file. Choose file, okay. Yeah, import. Now, now we have, now we have the file imported. As you can see, here, here are the file available for the database. We have the cable. We have the two cache at the main. We have the head time. We have the head time space. We have the API. We have the API time and then the likes. We have the cable and the likes. Electricity, SME, blah blah blah. So that's all for that for the AP. That's all for that for the database. Then next step is okay, okay, okay. Let's check the particular domain we are even using itself. The goods, yeah, the goods that's going to TNG. As you can see, we already have could not could not connect. Yes, what the particular domain is saying could not connect. Why is it saying could not connect? We are yet to what we just upload the script and then we haven't done any connection between the database and the we haven't done any connection with the, between the database. There is no connection between database and the file. So now we have to go back to our file manager we are done with database area then we have to go back to our file manager to what 
to connect the database to the file manager. So here is it, the ghost.com.sg. <coughs> All right, having we having the file manager here, the under the ghost.com.sg, then we have to locate core C O R E, the core section C O R E core. Then we have in the core section. Then we have to under the core section. After clicking on the core section, then you have to we have to locate con dot phe con dot phe, which is connection dot phe php rather con dot php. So you can just click on it. Then you can even view first to be sure. So yes, as you can see, con.php, we have it. So we are just to edit. Yes, what we are, we are will be editing to do the connection of the database and the script. So just click on edit. Just click on edit to edit it. So now, what are we now editing here? We are only editing the database like the database or uh, details which is the database where the database we just created recently a few minutes ago now which is the username the news that we just added the username and the password so that's what we'll be editing here so just click on this as you can see under local host please don't do any other setting don't do any other editing don't any other code here don't edit any other code than the username and the password so just clear clear the available one the available username just clear it clear the available username then you watch you input the new username which is the new users database name um paste it yeah so then the password the same same process applies to the password option too then you paste the new password then the last database name again clear the available one then you want you paste the new one then you want you click on save changes Click on save changes then you after clicking on save changes we are done then we click on close now we can watch we can proceed to check our site as you can see we have the site live we have our site live see the same domain though. we have the site live easy no stress at all no stress just easy and direct Easy and direct. We have the site live. You can see you have the register. We have the login on the live. So for you to register, you need member to register. Click on the registration. Then to login as well. Click on the login. 